Hi folks and welcome back to Math with Captain Rod. The purpose of this video is to demonstrate uh, how to test a series for convergence. So what we're looking at here is number 16 in the current textbook that I'm using. Sum from n equals 1 to infinity of minus 2 over n root n. And we're going to talk about different convergence tests for it. So when testing for convergence, uh, first thing I always do is I check the a sub n's. And the million dollar question here, does the a sub n go to 0? as n goes to infinity. That's something that needs to be determined, probably the first thing we should look at. If the answer is no, then the series is divergent and you're done. If the answer is yes, then the series could potentially still be convergent. As I look at this, hopefully it's fairly obvious to the casual observer here that this does go to zero as n goes to infinity. So this thing still has a chance to converge. All right now there's other many many other tests to uh, apply to these. The next thing I usually do is I ask myself here, is it a geometric, um, is, it a, is it a friend or a foe? Is it a geometric or a P series here? And as we look at this, we actually could uh, write this as a P series, I believe, because we can write this sum n equals 1 to infinity of minus 2 over n to the 3 halves. So, this thing is of the correct form to be a p-series. The p would be 3 halves, and p-series are convergent for values of p greater than 1. So what we're looking at here is a convergent p-series. Now, as a second example here, I'm going to build right into this, I'm going to talk about how to use the integral test to uh, test this thing for convergence as well. Now, the minus 2 here, like any other summation, can be brought out in front. I'm going to go ahead and write this uh, one. I'll just leave it n to the 3 halves here. Because this is decreasing for all values of n greater than 1, and it's positive definite in the entire region here, the integral test also applies. So what we can do with this is compare this to the integral 1 to infinity, 1 over x to the 3 halves dx. Which, let's write this limit as b goes to infinity, integral 1 to b, and I'm going to go ahead and take that power and write it x to the minus 3 halves dx, which is going to equal limit as b goes to infinity. All right, antiderivative of x to the minus 3 halves is x to the minus 1 half times negative 2 over 1. Just put the minus sign here. Actually, I'll put the 2 there as well. And then this is uh, evaluated 1 to b. And the limit as b goes to infinity. I'm going to go ahead now and take this minus sign and, and just absorb this into the limits. So this is going to equal limit as b goes to infinity of 2 times 1 over root 1 minus 1 over root b. And again, what I've done is taken this minus sign, and when I say absorb it into the limits, if you flip the order uh, of applying your limits, that uh, takes care of the minus sign. And now when we take limit as b goes to infinity, this term goes to 0, and this limit is 2. So what we've shown here is that the integral converged to a value of 2, in our original summation meets the criteria for the integral for application of the integral test. So our summation uh, will follow suit with the integral, so therefore the summation also converges. Very important point of this problem though is it does not converge to 2. The value of the integral does not give you the value of the uh, summation. We, don't, we do know this thing converges, but we don't know to what value yet. So hope this uh, video helps demonstrate how to, well, one, how to uh, take a summation and compare it to a p-series, and two, how to take that same summation and apply the integral test. Have a great day.